on at Centrist Park is J.D. Davis of the New York Mets. So J.D.'s been swinging it, and the Mets have been winning it. So J.D., as we say hello to you, first and, for first and foremost, we got to settle some things with your name and your nickname, okay? <laughs> so Bubbles is the first nickname that, that comes to mind. And then how, your initials are JGD, so JDD seems a little redundant. So what's the deal? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, I'll start off with the bubbles part. That was actually in college coming in my freshman year. I was a little bit overweight. Uh, my head coach at the time gave, gave me the bubbles name because I had a big old butt. Vanderhook said stomach, that? Big old, big old hit. <laughs> I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't throw any names okay. under the bus. Okay, right. smart but, man, uh, smart man. But, 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 yeah, that that name stuck, and then uh, it just more initiative to lose a little bit of weight, and then it just turned short into bubs. Uh, still over there, those group of guys, uh, still that old nickname over there at Fullerton, um, and then you know just the uh, the original name, J D Davis. Uh, I grew up, and my parents just called me J D, um, and then in school for some point, the teacher asked me to put a name that I prefer to be called. I put J. JD and for the longest time she had no idea who who JD was and so she was like all right just put your last name at the end of it and I was just I didn't think anything much of it so I just put JD Davis and so then it just kind of stuck and then it you know went over obviously it was JD in the baseball world but then school wise that's how it became JD Davis so uh, yeah, there you go. All right. Well, hey, well, that's a name that people are learning and learning fast these days, Alexa. Well, and there are so many nicknames on that squad, right? You have Thor and the Flying Squirrel. Have any of your teammates oh, given you a nickname yet? Oh, man. They, they've given me the Badger. Um, <laughs> you know, not, not, not the Honey Badger because that's already been taken, but just like the little American Badger or what, what not, just uh, keep it right there. Um, they, they are building they, out they a zoo. The way yeah, I, uh, little yeah. woodland creatures. They I love that. <laughs> <laughs> they love me. They love that I just run my mouth and, you know, just bring excitement, bring some energy to the guys. Um, and then obviously, you know, uh, they say I don't really care that much in the in the moment or, you know, I don't get really that nervous or I, I don't know why they get uh, Pete Alonso gave me the name Badger, so I, I really don't know. you got to ask him. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And the fact that you guys, the camaraderie being built with those nicknames, you can feel it, the energy with this squad. You guys are on this incredible run. What's been your favorite part about this run so far with this team? Oh, man, I, I think it's unbelievable right now the way we flipped the script with our pitching staff, you know, the way they've they've been, you know, turning the page and doing what, you know, everybody's been talking about it, and it's been fun to watch the play behind them. And then also to have this, these young group of guys uh, to really blossom at this point um, during the second half. You know, everybody's doing their part, getting on base, uh, having team at bats. And then obviously, you know, we have that veteran leadership with, uh, with Frazier, uh, Robbie Cano, even though he's on the IL, he's given his two cents into helping us, you know, being a step ahead in the game right now. And I think it's just everybody's uh, buying into the team right now and we're just having, you know, a whole bunch of fun. It's unbelievable how it's changed and you guys have completely rewritten the narrative, specifically from what the media has put on the back page. I mean, Queen Zoo wasn't that long ago. Is the media that you were hearing about in terms of what New York was going to be like, did it live up to ex expectations? <laughs> yeah, it, it was. It was pretty crazy. It, it was the zoo. Um, you know, everybody <laughs> talked about it during spring training and everything, but I, I kind of believed it. I didn't. And then all of a sudden we had that little roller coaster, that losing streak, winning streak, losing streak, and then more losing streak. So um, it, it, it's, it really snowballed and it really put you know a little bit of pressure on us. We, we tried to do too much. Um, and I think that's what was the big thing from going into, into the second half. We had that all-star break where we came back and we hit the reset button and it was it's kind of big uh, relief. Uh, we just took a deep breath, and you know, I think in the hitters meeting, we just really concentrated on uh, talking about winning series. Um, I, we weren't really in there during the pitchers uh, meetings, but I know for a fact that us hitters, we we we, we try to make it a a goal to at least win every series. And so far, we've done it. We've uh, passed the baton and got the next guy up and had good at bats. JD, I grew up in Queens, and most of my brothers and sisters are Mets fans. So tell me a little bit about the difference of the fans over the last few weeks compared to the first few months. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's been it's been a wild ride. You know, the first, you know, right at the end of the first half, we we you know, 
it, I don't want to say anything bad, but it was just kind of like 50-50. There was still some energy there. You know, they were still passionate about it. But once we went on this run in the uh, – um, against the Marlins and then uh, going to Pittsburgh and White Sox and then coming home, then obviously having a huge series against Washington. We all knew that it was going to be a packed house, and, oh, it lived up to it. It was an absolute blast um, from the first pitch to the last pitch. Um, even when we were losing um, in, on Sunday, like, they were still there. They didn't leave the ballpark, and they were rooting us on it. It was absolutely a joy to be a part of and just be fun to be just to watch it. It was unbelievable. JD, hard left turn from me real quick. We are watching a lot of position players take the mound these days. And <laughs> I remember a JD Davis who was putting the tusks up for Fullerton who did a little bit of both. So as things have turned around, the mood's a little bit better in the clubhouse. How often are you knocking on Mickey Calloway's door and saying, Skip, put me out there? <laughs> Oh, man. No, I've been playing around. You can ask Conforto about that as well. I threw, like, little little bullpens out there when we're warming out up in center field and left field, throwing them <laughs> knuckleballs, curveballs, and fastballs during in-between innings. Uh, and then, obviously, before BP, I've been, you know, just mess around. Uh, but I don't really like to tap on uh, Mickey's shoulder. You know, if I have to come in and pitch, that means we're losing, and I don't ever want to be in that situation. <laughs> Good answer. So, J.D., I, way back when, uh, I saw Michael Conforto throw and pitch in high school back in Seattle area. Yeah. So, you were saying that you guys are kind of throwing out in the outfield. Who, who's got the better stuff? Ooh. <laughs> oh, I've got, I've, got, I've got the better stuff. He's already had a few <laughs> Hey, Big off, Forts off is going to run out there and tackle you any minute. Oh, you know his yeah, pops is a sure. linebacker. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty funny to watch because then even the Mets fans out in left center were getting on him during the Nationals when we, we were throwing him knuckleballs and everything and he was clanking it. But it was pretty funny. We always mess around uh, out there. We try to have it, you know, uh, just carefree, just have fun being like kids out there in baseball or on the baseball field. So, um, but yeah, it's it's pretty fun with them. JD, love the confidence. That's what we love to see. And uh, it's definitely coming through with you guys and your performance. This run that you're putting on has been pretty incredible to watch. Thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Good luck. Hey, no, no problem. Thank you for having me. JD Davis. So fun. I